Good afternoon everybody and significant fellow here and welcome to our Japanese, Taiwanese, all in these video on um not majoritively Japanese stuff, but it isn't all made in Japan, which I guess is okay. Well, who knows? Anyway, let's start with something disgusting probably. Crispy baby clam in a can. Now I don't think it's just the one clam, and if it is, it's been horrifically destroyed. The expiry date is poorly printed for 2019, so whatever this is, it will last a while. Let's have a look at the old ingredients here. Focus. Baby clam, 87%. That's good. Palm oil. That's okay, I guess. Sugar, soybeanly flour, chilli powder, salt water. Contains molluscus. I don't know what that is. Soybean and wheat gluten. Hmm. You seem pleased. You're not in this can. Smiling fish brand. Product of Thailand, see? 30 grams. High iron. High disappointment. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Oh dear. It, um, and not only is this the strongest ring pull on planet Earth, um, 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 why do I do this to myself? Why couldn't I just be normal? The smell is... It smells like a chippy that's been closed for a few hours. You know, stale fried stuff. And fish. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try it, bit. I'm bound to by my contract as a YouTuber, I suppose. Uh, I'll lick it first. Oh God, that's just that's unpleasant. Ah. <sighs> Down the hatch. Ah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go and put that over there and. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's move on to something nicer before I cry. It's squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Strawberry sandwich cookie. 30% of something. What's in you? Hopefully they put a sticker on so I can read it. Ingredients, crushed wheat flour, 25.77%, something on milk, fat, sugar, egg, palm, something, something, something. And here we are, my favourite E numbers, E422 and E420. Uh, uh, acid, yeah, there's nothing terrifying looking in here. Nothing scary. I'm just hoping this tastes better than those baby clams, of which I can still taste. Uh, how does one open? Japanese packaging is notorious to, for being hard to enter. A bit of hole in the bag, and the smell is quite spectacular. Pushing it in the hole is too small, and I just nearly swallowed a bit of plastic. We shall, we shall, I'll get in here if it kills me. I'm getting somewhere now. There we go. And they're individually wrapped. So this is a farce beyond all farces. There we go, eventually. I just got Mr. Plastic in my mouth. You can already go in a nice area. No any of the clams. So this is what's inside. It's a little thing with the words I can't understand on it. Let's have um, a gubbins. Ooh. Well, it's already sprayed crumbs everywhere, so I'm on. It's a little thing. It's sort of spongy, sort of crumbly.
Now, I like the taste. I don't know if you can tell by me struggling. This is quite possibly the driest product on the face of the earth. Hmm. It tastes really quite nice. Really quite sweet. Really quite strawberry, but it's dusty. It tastes a little bit like a Nutri I think a Nutri Green bar. I think I'm on about it. It's like oats and stuff with that strawberry centre from Special K from Kellogg's even not Special K. This hot one there. There's a cross section for you and some more crumb foliage. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I'd eat that. I'd put that in my lunch box. They're expensive, so I probably wouldn't put them in there for long. Now then, I said that was the driest product. I'm sure this is dry by default. Dried fish floss. I'll let that sink in for a second. Dried fish floss. That sunk in. That's a serving suggestion. There's um, Mr. Advance. Okay. <laughs> um, what's in you? Pickers you. Ingredients, swordfish, vegetable oil, salt, sugar, soy sauce, something, something, powder. So this is predominantly swordfish. To reduce this product, we select the best quality tender meats available and keep with the original recipe applying ingredients to the most advanced hygiene cooking techniques to produce this delicious and healthy meaty snack. Bollocks, do you? I just noticed the words do not eat. That was oxygen buster. <laughs> yes, don't eat oxygen busters, children. They're quite painful. Now this is a resealable bag, so I'll be with you in a minute once I've finished struggling. Eh, 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 eh. Wow, it's like insulation up in here. Look at that, I don't know if you can see. Look at that, it's like, it's like crisps that have been stood on or fiberglass insulation. Let's have a closer look. Oh yeah. Fishy, it's flushy, flossy, it's gonna make me nauseous. It's fish floss. Well, I suppose we have to try some. It doesn't expire for forever, by the way. The smell is, once again, it's the same as the crispy baby clam, so um, I'm back to hating my life, but let's give it a try. Jesus Christ! Eh! That's fucking disgusting! Oh my god! Oh my god, flip me over and call me fucking Jesus! Uh, uh. 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 <laughs> fucking hell, that tastes like fish food! I'd rather eat fish food, it's got belt more fucking flavour in it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh I was hoping for it to just taste like salt, but that's just disgusting. I'm gonna eat more of this. Mm. Ah, sweet release. What's this? I've just noticed this is a product of the UK. Who in their right mind in a factory somewhere in this country thought this was a good fucking idea? Chef Advance, fucking Chef Brick. I wouldn't give this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give this to the fish, even though they think it was fish because it fucking tastes like it. But sorry, still eating that biscuit. This is genuinely. The most disgusting thing I've ever fucking eaten. And I've eaten hunger break stuff for crying out fucking loud. Look that. Ready to eat. Yeah, ready to be fucking thrown away. You don't have to actually like, rehydrate it or some shit, do you? Bollocks to that. You can go over there. Ugh. Don't you dare fall over and make a mess either. I'm watching you, sunshine. Ah, let's move on to something else before I keel over. Ooh, now, hopefully this one will taste like, I don't know, like vomit, because that would be better than those two fucking things over there. Who got this? Taro. Taro fish snacks spicy flavour. I like a little bit of spice. 
and it looks and it looks weird. Once again, we've got a Bridgie sticker, so we can see what's inside. Fish meat, lizard fish. I'm I'm game. I've never heard of a lizard fish before. Let's get right in. Do you mind driving your transit when I'm down the street? Three times he's driven that down the street during this recording. Now this isn't a resealable bag, so. Unfortunately, this will have to be thrown away instantly afterwards. Ta-da. Oh no, oh no, it smells like those two. Oh, for the love of Christ on a bicycle. Uh, is there no third option? Death. Falling off a large bridge. Being run over by someone I like. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is it? It's... I'm going to preemptively put you. Oh, preemptively put you there. Ugh, ugh. The smell that's filling this room is that of an old fishmonger's. Oh shit! Hang on. I will return. And I'm back. Sorry. And I know it's a little bit darker now, but for some reason, my neighbours across the street were staring at me and it's very uncomfortable to record a video while it's being stared at by the general public so anyway let's try whatever the fuck this is hmm. oh the smell you know what that ain't too bad I don't know if you're supposed to eat these I've just been chewing on it and it ain't going nowhere but that ain't too bad. I like the amount of spiciness. It's a little bit chewy, but it's got protein in it. I suppose that's a good idea. I suppose that's good. So yeah, you can go over there. I wouldn't eat a lot of you, but I'd eat some of you. Now then. The last one we have here is something I've had for a while, and I've had to buy a replacement tin because the first one went off. Seasoned crispy shrimps, seafood appetizer, also made by the Smiling Fish Company. And what do we know them for? Yep. He looks fucking pleased because he ain't in this fucking tin. This cost one pound fifty nine, and it will last until. Oh dear, it's already gone out of date. Well, I need better eyes. This has been out of date for four months thereabouts. It's in a can, so I presume it's fine. Let's see what feast awaits the eyes in here. And it's just as horrible as the other can. And the smell's exactly the same. I'm starting to really hate Japan. This is where everything smells like. I don't want to go anymore. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? A maraca. It's one that looks so decent. So yep, they're tiny crispy shrimps. And the, 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 <laughs> the name sort of says it on the can. Um, I don't know what flavour they're supposed to be. Crispy, if that's a fucking flavour. I didn't read read the tin. I was too busy being gross. Let's look for some ingredients. I'm about to be on here somewhere. Shrimp, 87%. Palm oil, sugar, water, soybean salt, chilli powder. So they might be chilli flavoured. Well, this is going to be a fun day. Here, here I was hoping I could review some nice Japanese things. I seem to have managed to come across every horrible Japanese slash Taiwanese product. Apart from the nice cookies and the weird lizard fish bullshit. Let's try this. Well, it's very dry. Very crispy. And now... Eh. <laughs> Uh, oh, the flavour is exactly the same as those baby fucking clams. Ah, oh. well, this has been a bit. Oh God, the spice! <coughs> Jesus! Fuck me! Season this is for spicy crispy. Oh my God! It's like consuming the spiciest curry on the face of planet Earth. Oh, I'll make it stop. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, this ain't been a good video, has it, has it, lads? Three shit things and one good thing and one it's a, it's all right, I suppose thing. Oh God, someone get me a fucking suicide outline. Ugh. Next week we're gonna do something nice. We're gonna play a game. 
or we're going to review some uh, strawberries and see what supermarket does the best strawberries. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is going to give me such indigestion. I can feel it coming. I've been insignificant fellow, and if you know of any Japanese foods that you think I should try that you've seen in your local supermarket, like Tesco, which for some reason has nothing to stock in a lot, do not tell me. I don't want to know anymore. I'd rather be dead. Goodbye.